Hey guys, uh, welcome to Amazingly Enough. My name is Fahim and uh, today I'm going to talk about a course which is Cloud Data Management. This course was formerly known as Enterprise Content Management and that is what I pursued back in 2020. And uh, I have gone through uh, the changes that they have made to the curriculum or the whole structure of the course and I can resonate because those changes were required. So today I'm going to share my experience of doing enterprise content management two years ago and uh, the changes that they have made now, how they are going to impact you. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned. Let's get started. So to begin with, we need to understand why cloud data management or enterprise content management. Every organization in today's world is generating a lot of data and this data is raw, which means it's unstructured. So it becomes really important for companies to value this data and to get the most out of this data, it, it is really important to structure it. From raw form, we have to structure it in a meaningful form so that the employees who are interacting with the data on daily basis, they can find some things that are good for the company, like data analysis, cloud data management, backup strategies, all these things is what cloud data management is all about. So in a nutshell, if I have to tell you what you're going to do after studying this course, you guys are going to be content management specialists. You guys can be database administrators. You guys can be architects for SharePoint, which means basically creating intranets, websites. So all these things are collectively taken together and taught to you in this course, which is called cloud data management. Now, talking about the duration, it is a two year course and it is continuous. So at my time, there was no breaks in between. I don't know if that has changed. You can only know that once you are enrolled in this course and you get your uh, weekly schedules and all and you will know what is the real duration. So you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, every semester in Canada, is counted as four months. So one semester will be for four months, another for four, likewise the another the second year. So in total you will be studying for 16 months. So 16 months is a two year course in Canada. So talking about admission requirements, uh, they require people who have done their bachelor's in computer science, uh, information technology, or any other computer programming degrees. Uh, with that said, that is what is laid out on the website of Conestoga. Uh, but I have seen people who were from a different uh, field of study and they jumped into enterprise content management at my time. And uh, it all depends on how well you write your SOP, which is your statement of purpose. If you are jumping from a business degree to a, a computer, oriented degree, make sure you explain it well in your statement of purpose that why you're doing it. If you're interested, tell them what you're going to do with this degree and why you want to change. So there is also scope for people who come from a non IT background, they can do this course. And as I say, always, uh, the courses in Canada are designed in a way that they will teach you everything from scratch. So even if you don't know anything about SQL, they will ensure that you learn it from the scratch. Hard work depends on you again. Uh, apart from that, you require an overall of 6.5 in your IELTS, which is basic. Uh, so those are the admission requirements. Now, talking about the subjects, I'm not going to go in depth here because uh, that is something that you'll learn while you'll pursue the course, but I will just outline some of the subjects. Uh, some of the subjects will be like data migration techniques. You will learn SharePoint uh, architecture. You will learn a little bit about styling. You will learn a little bit about uh, user experience and uh, user interactions because ultimately you guys will be creating content management softwares. Okay. So you, if you're not creating, at least you will be working on these. You will learn about Microsoft Office 365. You will learn about governance. You will learn about compliance. You will even learn about project management. So that is the best part about this course that 
as much as it is technical it has the theoretical part to it as well so any person who is lacking in technical can cover their grounds when it comes to the theory part of subject which is equally important Talking about the skills, if I have to talk about skills, if you guys are well uh, versed with Adobe Suite, like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, uh, all these things might help you. You might end up in a company where they might uh, require a member from graphics team so if you know how to work with uh, manipulation of images you know creating banners and stuff that might be a plus for you uh, if you have knowledge about SQL that is SQL uh, structured query language uh, it is good because you will be studying that a lot and uh, again I don't mean to scare you by saying that you will be studying a lot yes you will be studying sql throughout but they will teach you from scratch so don't be afraid you will be taught okay uh, apart from sql if you know any content management softwares like there are wordpress there are wix platforms there is uh, weebly all these are content management softwares that are used in today's uh, industry level organizations okay so if you know all of these that is going to be a plus for you uh, very basic thing if you guys are well versed with uh, microsoft excel that is going to help you because uh, there will be a part in this course which will talk solely about project management and project management is nothing but creating excel sheets uh, working on tables working on pivots every single thing data abstraction all those things are going to help you so if you are someone who is thinking about taking this course and you still have time on your hands pick one of these skills and try to be good at it because once you're done with your course all these skills and experience is going to come handy while looking for jobs now the most important thing where do I go after completing this course what are the career opportunities what should I do so after completing this course there are actually a lot of paths that you can take you guys can become SharePoint architects which means you will be creating intranets for companies you will be creating websites that is what I do uh, you guys can become a website content management specialist where you will have to keep websites up to date and in order to do so you need to understand uh, content management systems like WordPress, Wix, Weebly that's why I was telling you that is a skill so once you complete this course if there is somebody like me who knew WordPress it becomes easier to get jobs related to web developer or web content specialists etc another thing that you guys can do is you guys can also uh, become office 365 architects or office 365 administrators you guys can become as i said content management specialists where you will be working on wordpress wix or any other internal uh, uh, softwares that these companies have but apart from all of this you guys can go into i won't say non-technical field but it has very less to do with technicality you guys can become project managers where you will have to do not a lot with technical stuff right the most important thing that i wanted to cover in this course is what conestoga did this year is uh, they have introduced two more two more subjects to this course one is how to start your uh, consulting career and the other one is uh, career management I have my notes here I just don't want to miss anything so these two things why I think they are important is because after studying this course you guys can even work for your own self because it teaches you to how the industry level websites work how the project management is done so if you guys are into consulting there is a course now in this particular uh, program which will talk about that it will talk about career management which is really good uh, when i look at the market it it is really important for students to understand how to manage their careers how to uh, create a linkedin profile a lot of us don't even have a linkedin profile so all those things might look small 
but when you look at the bigger picture it shows a lot about a person about a candidate to a hiring manager so that is really good for you guys i really hope whoever has uh, planned to take this course or they are planning to take this course uh, get to understand that there are a lot of opportunities in this course and it's a really well driven course uh, the faculty is really good so if you guys are someone who wants to get into this course i would say go for it uh, keeping in mind whatever i said but if you guys are not into technicality if you guys don't want any technical course this course i would say is not for you because you will be going through a lot of technical stuff in terms of understanding uh, sharepoint and in terms of understanding content management systems and data in particular so if this video helped you guys in any way or you think it can help someone just share it like it and uh, if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments we will try to get to them as soon as possible with that said you guys have an amazing evening happy living and i'll see you guys again bye bye